Mm. Now we can get started. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome back to the video where we are going to ceramic coat this 1984 Porsche 944. If you guys didn't catch the last video make sure to go check it out because we went ahead and wet sanded, compounded and polished this hood and top uh, because there was so much orange peel. Now this car has been recently painted. It wasn't painted in my possession but the previous owner had it painted was hoping to get an amazing paint job paid a lot of money and when he got it back there was a ton of defects i mean orange peel like crazy on the hood uh there were some dirt particles in the hood uh, so that was the area i focused on uh, and if you didn't catch that last video i accidentally sanded through this section and one other small section so we're not going to be fixing that right now the main thing today is using this ceramic coating now this is the first time that I've ever done a ceramic coating. So for those of you who are afraid out there for doing this or maybe uh, thought it was gonna be too expensive, I'm gonna break that all down for you. This is very inexpensive compared to uh, way ceramic coating used to be. It's applicable at home and it's pretty simple and they send you a ton of instructions. So this one happens to be from Armor Shield. We'll break this box open here in a second. I've already opened it up. Was shocked to see how much they fit in that box and really what went into uh, the branding of this. Now, first thing you wanna do, which I already took care of because I don't wanna bore you guys to death, is cleaning this car down as well as you can. That's clay barring, uh, removing any type of stuff like waxes and stuff that you put out in the past. I don't think this car was ever waxed, but we already went ahead and compounded and polished most of this front end and top. I went back and clay barred the rest of the car, washed it a couple times, and actually repolished it again. After doing all that, you wanna go ahead and wipe the entire vehicle down with uh, isopropyl alcohol, which is difficult to get right now with the coronavirus. So uh, obviously, hopefully you have some around, which I did. I'm gonna wipe this whole thing down. Now keep in mind, you're gonna be able to get things like trim pieces. If you wanna do the inside of your engine bay, which we are going to do on a different episode, you can do your rims. Uh, we're gonna be resurfacing and painting our rims, so we're not gonna do that today. Really, this is gonna be more of a sped through video because there's tons of really good videos out there to watch and I highly suggest watching them and when you receive your product like Armor Shield they're going to send you tons of information and uh, videos on how to do it that are very instructional. This is really just going to show you how awesome this product can be and how it comes out on a car that really did not look that great just a couple of days ago. So let's go ahead and get set up. We're going to wipe down the car. I got tons of microfiber towels because I am a fan of wiping uh, down with a clean towel whenever you can. Uh, they do include, um, let's open up the box real quick. So they include the product, which from what I've heard, this is plenty to do this vehicle with some leftover. Uh, they do include a glove, which I'll throw on when I'm doing this. They give you three of these suede-like towels, uh, and that's what you actually wipe the product on with, and one of these uh, foam pads. Now this is very soft on one side, and what you're supposed to do is wrap those around here and use the product. The one part that I caught when I went back over the video is you wanna switch that out um, every few panels. So they give you three of them to do an entire car, so we'll probably use all three just because I want this car to come out as good as possible and it says you switch them out once they start getting crystallized or slightly uh, unusable so we'll kind of keep an eye on that I'll just go I probably won't fill you in but I'll probably go ahead and swap those out as we go and you really want to do it slowly so that's the big thing is doing small panels so we're gonna do like upper fender lower fender and then you want to basically cut your hood down into sections a lot of people just cut it in half we may go less than that so what you want to do is apply the product let it dry uh, which is different based on the temperatures you're in. We're in the hottest temperatures. As you guys can see, sometimes my phone is having issues uh, with focusing because the humidity is so level that there's moisture getting on my lens. So uh, I apologize about that. But you basically want to cut into sections, let it dry, and then buff it off. So let's get started. I'm going to wipe this whole thing down with the alcohol, and then we'll move on to applying. I'll clip in some of that. But mainly, this is going to be focused on showing you guys the final results and filling you in on any issues I had since this is my first time and I wanna help you on your first time. So let's get started. So guys, quick fill in. What I ended up doing was uh, the panels and the hood, the front area of this bumper, and then I decided to do along this edge, 
that kind of tore through the first cloth. And the reason why I wanted to fill you in is because if you can get away with using these lower areas, you don't always get them as clean as you think you do. Um, I did have to drive this car home from the car wash. Even though I wiped it down a couple of times, there was still uh, some residue underneath here. So that cloth is done. I'm going to toss it and I'm going to start with my second uh, cloth going back and I think I might end up using the third one on tri trim and windows uh, or I might save it for the engine bay. So just to fill in guys. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how awesome this stuff works on the trim. I basically finished off the whole car but I saved this back panel uh, just because I know how awesome it's going to look and I wanted to show you guys on film. So easy to put on too. Now being this is a little drier, you are going to have to add a lot more of the solution to these areas. So I suggest saving it to the end just in case. And also, like I mentioned before, we can get the glass, which I have not gotten this back glass yet. Well guys, here it is. This is really the reason why you watch this video to see what the outcome was and I am absolutely blown away. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned because I spent a lot of time polishing out this hood because I could see uh, what looked like dry marks from maybe sanding a little bit through that clear coat while trying to remove all that orange peel on that last video we did guys. So but my concerns went away when I just pulled this thing out. Now the sun just went behind the clouds, but it's still very bright, so it gives us an idea. Don't worry, I'm gonna wait till that sun comes out and we'll walk around once more. So, um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering if I recommend this product 1,000%. So this was Avalon King. A lot of the YouTubers out there are sponsored by them and you know sometimes you don't know if the products really good I am 100% not sponsored I'm not saying that I wouldn't want to be sponsored if you guys are out there Avalon King but uh, I did this with my own money on my own time uh, this was way less than a hundred dollars I got to go back and look exactly what I spent because I got two bottles they do give you a price break when you get two next plan is to get my wife's car and then we're gonna move over to the fleet and I think we're gonna do the uh, 420 SEL and see if we can brighten up that paint since that's all original. But man, did this come out good or what? Now look at this back panel. And from what I've heard, that'll stay like that for a very long time. I probably only used maybe half to three quarters of that bottle and a lot of it was on this back wing. Uh, it is probably close to 100 degrees, at least what it feels like outside right now. I am covered in sweat. I'll give you guys my recommendations. Do it very slowly, you know, sections at a time. As I got more used to it, I would do a section here while that was drying. I would do the lower section here, buff this off, let it, this sit for another minute, buff that off, and then I'd move on. But I made sure I kept track of where I was going because you don't want to miss a panel or go over a panel that you've already done and haven't wiped down or forget to wipe down a panel because that could be really bad. But man, look at this. I actually love the way this car looks when the sun is just creeping through the clouds and you got kind of like a small overcast. I'm gonna wait for that sun to pop out because it's about to and I'll show you guys some more. Okay, the sun is popping out from those clouds and wow, I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys just take a look at this. So once again guys, my name's Pete, this is Pete's Carport. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because the transformation of this car, although it looked absolutely stunning when I bought it, 
This is like night and day though. Guys, I took a paint job that looked terrible and turned it into an amazing work of art and I could not be more excited. The cost was not that much. It was mostly my time and effort and you guys can do it too. Have a great day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.